Hi there, and welcome back to the channel Machining with Joe, a channel where I share with you my journey as a beginner home hobbyist machinist. In today's video, I want to compare two types of inserts that I've recently bought. One being a CCMT06, and the other being a CCGT06. So these inserts fit exactly the same tool, but they both do a slightly different purpose. So that's what I want to cover in today's video. I want to compare these two inserts against each other and see which one is the best. So to do that, I'm going to run two tests. I'm going to run one test on aluminium and I'm going to run the other test on some mild steel. Both these bits of stock are 20 mil and I'm going to be facing off and doing two depths of cut. One being a 0.25 millimeter depth of cut and the second being a 0.5 millimeter depth of cut. And I really want to see how these two different types of inserts compare in the overall finish and the amount of chatter and vibrations I get on the lathe. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to quickly go to the bench now and we're going to just talk through the differences in the inserts. And then after that, we're going to jump straight onto the lathe and start making some chips. And for any of you guys out there that watched my previous video, the free giveaway competition is still running across this video. So keep your eyes peeled for that logo sticker. And if you see it, follow the instructions from the previous video and you might grab yourself a free Machining with Joe logo sticker. So before we make any chips with these inserts, let's use the ISO chart to compare these two. So starting with the first letter, C. They both share that in common. And the C, according to this ISO chart that I've got here, dictates that the shape of these is sort of like a diamond shape with an 80 degree cutting angle. So that's really important if you want to cut shoulders because 80 degrees is less than 90, so it allows you to get in there and cut some nice shoulders. Moving across, let's talk about the next C. So the C on this chart dictates that this actually has a seven degree positive rake angle. So, so far, both these share two traits. They both are a diamond shape with an 80 degree cutting angle, and they both have a seven degree positive rake angle on them. Now, next is where it gets interesting, because over here we've got a CCMT, and over here we've got a CCGT. Now, the G and M differs in the fact of the cutting tip has a slightly different nose radius. The nose radius on the CCGT is a lot sharper than the nose radius on the CCMT, meaning it's a lot sharper and can cut softer material a lot better. But the big thing that I've read up on these is when used on a mini lathe, the CCGTs actually give a really good finish, not on just aluminium, but also on mild steel. So that's what we're gonna be testing today. And while we're there, let's just finish off with the final letter T, which both these share in common, and that just dictates the countersunk hole. So the countersunk hole where these bolt to the tool is exactly the same. So both these inserts can be used on the same tool, which is gonna to make today's test really interesting because we can directly compare the CCMT and the CCGT and see which one gives a better cut. Let's jump straight over to the lathe now and we're gonna test this out on mild steel. Starting with the CCGT then, we're gonna do a facing off pass and we're then gonna do a 0.25 millimeter cut, look at the finish and then do a 0.5 millimeter depth of cut. To keep this test as similar as possible, I've got a 40 mil stick out and I'm gonna run the lathe at about 750 RPM, but once it's running, I'm not gonna adjust the speed at all. So let's give this a go. Probably take this cut about 20 mil along the workpiece.
So first impressions of that is that is a really nice finish on there for mild steel on this lathe. The facing off pass is also really nice, but I'm especially pleased with how good the finish is on that. That's really nice. So I'm now gonna dial in a depth of cut of 0.5 millimeters this time, and we're gonna see how that copes. So I'd say the 0.5 millimeter pass is just as good a finish as the 0.25 millimeter and I'm quite surprised actually how well that has cut this bit of mild steel. So what I'm going to do now is flip the work over and swap the insert out and we shall try seeing how the CCMT gets on with this. So 0.25 millimeter depth of cut. So that's a 0.25 millimeter depth of cut for about 20 mil, same as I've done previous. And I've got to say the finish is fairly similar. I would say the CCMT has given a slightly rougher finish over the CCGT. Let's do a 0.5 millimeter depth of cut now and we'll see where that leaves us. Right, that's the mild steel done now. I'm gonna put that to one side and we'll come back after the aluminium and we'll compare the two and see what the difference is. Right, we've got some aluminium chucked up here and we're gonna do exactly the same procedure as we done last time. We're sticking with the CCMT insert in there just cause it was in there from before and we're gonna do a facing off 0.25 mil and a 0.5 millimeter depth of cut. Let's give this a go. And we're gonna jump straight in with the 0.5 millimeter depth of cut as well. Right, let's flip that over, swap inserts and go again. With 0.25 millimeter done, we're now gonna wind this in for the final 0.5 millimeters. Let's head over to the bench now and let's compare our findings. Right then, let's cover the overall finish and performance of the MT versus the GT. And let's start with mild steel. So the mild steel, when we were first cutting it on the lathe, I thought actually these two inserts are performing very similar. But on closer inspection afterwards, it turns out that the GT has given a much better finish and looking at it, it looks like the MT has actually picked up a little bit of chatter on there. Don't know if the camera lens can pick that up, but I would definitely be using the GT when using mild steel. Moving on to the aluminium, and this is where the GT came into its own. So obviously the GT is actually specifically designed for aluminium, but the finish on that is outstanding. You've got 0.25 millimeter depth of cut there and 0.5 millimeter depth of cut there. And they are an absolute gorgeous finish. Moving over to the MT on the other hand, the finish isn't too bad. It's nowhere near as good as the GT, but the main thing that let this down is can you see here this line of material? So this is where the MT was more like it was tearing the aluminium rather than giving nice cuts. So because of that, you're left with this horrible ring round there. 
and it's just not nice at all to work with. So again, the GT is much better to work with on aluminium. So overall then, my initial comparison of the MT and the GT. The GT I'm definitely going to be using now when working on mild steel and aluminium. I just find the finish that this gave is outstanding. So much better than the MT. I'm not too sure how it's going to fare on stainless. Given that these are designed to cut aluminium, I'm not sure if they're going to be strong enough to withstand hardened stainless steel. Luckily, I don't use it that often, but when I do, I think I'm going to keep using the CC MTs just because I know they work and I know they don't chip that easy on stainless. So there we have it then, guys. An initial comparison against the CC MT and the CC GT. And I've got to say, after doing that little test, I'm definitely going to be using the CC GT in my everyday machining when it comes to mild steel, aluminium, and I imagine this is going to apply to brass as well. I hope you found this video informative, and I hope any of you guys that were on the hunt for the machining with Joe sticker spotted it in that video. If you did, drop me an email, and like I said in the previous video, the first five people to tell me where they've seen it will get themselves a free one of those stickers. So thanks for sticking around guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please consider subscribing to the channel, really helps the channel grow. But for now, see you in the next one.